What's the tea? Today's video is going to be part one of my Black Friday haul. I did a lot of damage this year, so I had to split this video up into two parts. And actually, I don't think I've done a Black Friday haul on my channel before. Not sure. But if you guys want to see a few items that I picked up this Black Friday, then just keep watching. Okay, so also I'll start off with the disclaimer. I did not buy all of these items on Black Friday. I bought some of them, you know, starting at the beginning of the week all the way through Cyber Monday. But although not everything was bought on Black Friday, all of the items in this video were purchased on sale. We love a sale, can't miss a sale. So I guess we can start off with shoes. The first pair of shoes I picked up are some Crocs, which I have right here. Um, and these are the classic lined Crocs and these are in the color orange Sherbert. So funny story, I was actually at the grocery store and there was a Payless right next door. And I saw a sign in the window saying that they had Crocs. And I had been looking for some of the lined Crocs um, because the other pair of Crocs I have that are kind of like the green camo color, I'm sure I've showed them on this channel before, they are my most worn shoe. So now that it's winter and now that it's getting a little colder outside, I thought, why not pick up a pair of lined Crocs? And at first, you know, I was a little hesitant about the color just because to me, this color screams summer and this is, you know, a winter shoe, but this was the only pair of line Crocs that they had in the store in my size. And, you know, the color is kind of growing on me. These are more of like a house shoe, um, so I don't really wear these out, although I guess I would. They're still cute, and I just love their fur. They're so comfortable. Um, but yeah, so these shoes are on sale. They were on sale on Payless, and they're also on sale on the Crocs website. And I think they cost $47.99 right now, and they normally go for $60. Um, so it's a great price, and it's really nice to have just a nice, comfy pair of shoes. You'll see in this haul, the theme um, for part one was comfort. Um, I'm really into being cozy. I spend most of my time in the house since I work from home. So I'm just all about comfort, and these shoes scream comfort to me. The next pair of shoes that I want to show you are actually on my feet right now. So let me take them off to show you. So I picked these shoes, which are these black furry slides. I picked these up from Target, and this was kind of an impulse buy. I was in there doing a bit of grocery shopping, and I came across these. Oops, let me switch them. I came across these and I just thought they looked so cozy. I love the fur and I also like that the fur is kind of all the way through the shoe versus just being on the front um, because, you know, if you know, you know, but I used to wear fur slides all year round, all the time, especially when I was, you know, a freshman in college, um, but they only had fur on this part. So I appreciate now that for the winter, a little bit more cozy, these have fur all the way through. And um, I don't know if I can find a link to these. If I if I can find it, I'll put it down below. Um, but I got these in a size small, I believe. And you know, these were only $18. So I think that's a good price for a pair of cute slippers. And they honestly look kind of like um, the Skims fur slippers. Um, definitely much cheaper, <laughs> but these are really cute, very comfortable, and I wear these in the house. These are strictly my house shoes. I don't wear them out, um, but they're definitely cute enough to wear them out if that's what you would prefer. But yeah, I just love these shoes. I will put a little side note though. However, these do shed. Um, they shed pretty bad. So if you're someone who is not into frequently vacuuming, then I don't recommend because these will shed everywhere. But yeah, I love these shoes and they're perfect for comfort. And the next pair of shoes that I picked up were a pair of heels from Pretty Little Thing. And here they are. They're just very simple black heels. I actually got them um, because I was planning to go to a birthday dinner. I didn't end up going, but I kept the shoes because they're very, very cute. And I got these in a size six i ordered both the six and the seven online um but when i tried them on the six um worked the best for me it fit the best i am a 6.5 normally so i would say maybe size down a half size um, when it comes to these shoes 
but these are the black PU square toe strappy heels. And again, I'll link them down below. And I just like how simple they are. The heel's comfortable enough that, you know, you can wear it to a dinner and your feet are not gonna be screaming. And it's just, it looks nice. It looks very simple. I like the square toe, although I wouldn't really call this a square toe. Um, I'm really into the shoes that are like really square, like straight across for the toe. Um, but these are cute and yeah they're just a simple pair of heels i paid 20 dollars for them so very cheap um but i think they're cute you know and eventually i will wear them if i ever go out somewhere so that was the last of the shoes so keeping with the comfy theme i actually picked up a sweatsuit from meshki from their unisex line and if you know me you know i love meshki i'm actually wearing a pull over in the matching sweatpants um, from Meshki right now, which I've shown in a previous haul. So since I wear this outfit so often and I love it, I thought why not get it in another color and this time with a hood. Um, I will be going to London soon. So, you know, since it rains there, I thought, you know, you can never have too many black hoodies. I picked up the Meshki Bay unisex oversized cozy hoodie in black. And you'll see it in the try-on. It is definitely oversized. I honestly kind of wish I got an extra small um, because I didn't realize how oversized it would be. But I like the hoodie. It's comfortable. It's warm. I will say for some reason, I don't like the hoodie as much as I like the pullovers like I'm wearing right now. Um, I don't know. The material just seems a bit different, but that could just be me. It's from the same line. So you would think, you know, it's the same material. Um, but yeah, maybe it's just the fact that it's oversized. I don't know, but I like the hoodie and of course, you know, I will be keeping it. Um, and it was a good price. I paid $52 for it. So I got it on sale. Um, and I just think it's a really, really nice black hoodie. And I like the detail, you know, the signature Meshki detailing where it has, you know, the Meshki letters kind of on the front. And it also has the latitude and longitude which i think is also a cute detail um so if you're looking for you know a plain black hoodie that's pretty good quality then i would definitely check out meshki and to match the hoodie i also got a pair of black joggers from the same unisex line and these are called the charlie unisex cozy jogger also in black um oh and also just so you know all the clothing items in this haul are all in a size small which is my normal size and yeah, I really like the pants. They're just like the pants that I'm wearing right now. They're very comfortable and they're cute. And I just like that they're nice plain black sweats. I think that's perfect for the winter time. Um, and one thing I will mention about this sweatsuit is that it attracts lint like nobody's business. You know, they could all be like that. And maybe I'm just now noticing it because this is a black sweatsuit, but I have to lint roll this every time I wear it. So, you know, if lint is something that is bothersome to you, then I would not recommend getting this track suit in black. And also, sorry about the lighting, you know, natural lighting problems, sometimes you get a shadow. But yeah, I love the outfit. Again, you know, the lint is a bit of a downer. Um, so maybe I recommend getting it in a different color. They have a bunch of colors in the unisex track suits so also i forgot to mention i paid 41 dollars for the joggers so 41 dollars for the bottoms 52 dollars for the hoodie i think that's a good deal a full track suit for under 100 um considering track suits can be very expensive especially i think the track suit that i got from aloe was about 220 total so definitely a great price and the quality is amazing i wear this track suit at least twice a week i'm not kidding so I really stand by, you know, Meshki's quality and I think it's amazing. Next, let's move on to one of my biggest obsessions, Skims. Skims had an amazing sale for Black Friday and I'm actually kicking myself for not getting more items because I only picked up two things. I was trying to be restrained. So the first item I got was the cozy knit zip up hoodie in Onyx and I got it for $40. So I think they were, or it was half off, which is amazing and I am obsessed with this hoodie. If you're an avid traveler, you need it. It keeps you warm, it makes you feel like you're wearing a blanket all the time. I love the hood in case it rains, and it's just so cozy. Like, I, I wear it just to sit in the house, 
if you don't want to get a blanket but you want to feel cozy still just throw on the hoodie and it is amazing the quality is unmatched and it, the material kind of reminds me of like those fuzzy socks so it's basically like you're wearing one huge jacket made out of fuzzy socks and I'm kind of kicking myself for not getting the matching pants when they were on sale because I believe the pants are like $88 and I'm just like ah that's steep but considering I got the jacket for half off I think that was a huge win and since I'm obsessed with all things cozy I also picked up another jacket from skims but this one is actually a quarter zip i got the skims teddy pullover and i got it in the shade desert i just thought it was so cute and it looked so cozy and i feel like a teddy bear every time i have it on and honestly i prefer the pullover to the um zip up the material is a little bit different and i think the pullover is just a bit warmer so if you live in a climate where it's cold and you want to feel cozy, this is perfect for you. It's perfect for travel, I'm telling you. These cozy hoodies and cozy zip-ups are going to be your best friend when it comes to traveling. And I travel a lot, so I will definitely be wearing this at the airport. And again, I'm kicking myself for not getting the matching pants to go with this Teddy pullover as well. And, um... The pullover was also $40, just like the zip up. So they were both half off. So really the Skims sale was unmatched. And honestly, I cannot wait for it to come around again next year um, because now I'm prepared. Now I know what the deal is. Now I know how great the sales are and I won't be missing out. Now on to PJs. I feel like it's not a Black Friday haul unless you have bought a pajama set. So I picked up this one right here from Victoria's Secret. And this is the VS flannel long PJ set. And it comes with a matching scrunchie, which is actually really cute because I didn't, I didn't know that it came with it. And I think the wrapping is so good. Like this is a great Christmas present. And also I was seriously resisting the urge to put this on last night because I wanted to keep it cute and packaged so I could show you guys how cute this is. And I paid $40 for this set um, so it was on sale which is awesome and they didn't have the color on the website but the code for the color is 5DUG if that's helpful. Now I will say I actually ordered two of these um, but they shipped separately and they actually contacted me saying that they weren't sending me my, my other pair of um, pajamas that I had ordered so that was a bummer but yeah at least I got this one. They did give me my money back, but I, I wish I had them both because these pajamas are everything. And you'll see with the try on how cute this set is, how comfortable it is. And I love that for the sizing. Um, again, I got a size small, but they allow you to customize the length, whether you want them to be shorter or longer. I'm a short person, so I picked short, but it's also tall girl friendly. Um, so I just love that extra touch and I just think that Victoria's Secret pajama sets are the perfect Christmas gift and something great to order for Black Friday. So now on to the last part of the video. Um, for those of you that know, Bath & Body Works has Candle Day every year where they have their three wick candles on sale. They normally retail for $25, but on Candle Day they are each $10.25 no restrictions. I know in store you can purchase up to 18 of them for the 1025 price, which is amazing. Um, so I think the sale started on Thursday and ran, you know, until Friday. And I was just happened to be online, just browsing, and I saw that it was candle day, but everything was sold out online. So because candle day extended in stores on Friday, what did I do? I got up at 4 a.m. and went to Candle Day and I vlogged it for you guys. So let's cue the vlog footage now. Hey guys, what's the tea? Today is Candle Day at Bath & Body Works. So I am up extremely early. It is currently 4.45 a.m. and I'm about to head over to Bath & Body Works for Candle Day. I believe the store opens today at 5 a.m., um, so hopefully I can get there right when they open. In honor of this Black Friday haul, I thought it would be cool to vlog Candle Day and take you guys along with me. Um, so 
We'll head over to the store and let's see what items I can snag. Hopefully everything won't be sold out. And I'll also give you guys a little sneak peek at the OOTD. I'm not saying where anything is from because one of these items will be featured later on in this video in the haul. But this is what we're working with. Very much cozy, which is needed because I believe it is in the 30s right now. So let's head over to Bath and Body Works. We made it to the store. I'm about to walk in. I still see a few people in here, which is actually surprising. I don't know why I thought I would be the only one. There was absolutely no one on the street when I was driving here, but it's a good amount of people here. So let's see what it's looking like. it's time to check out my arm is killing me okay so you guys just saw what i got up to at candle day at bath and body works i was definitely tired but it was worth it to be there so early there was no line and i could really just get in and get out so i'll give you a quick overview and then we can go into the individual items so i ended up purchasing six candles um for each 10.25 again and they were also having a buy three, get three free sale for the body care. So I picked up, you know, six items of body care. And then they were also having a, I think it was five for 24 or five for 28 um, sale for the wallflower refills. So I also got some wallflower refills. So now let's just get into all of the items because there are a lot. We'll start with the wallflowers. I already have like the part that you plug into the wall. So these are just the refills. Um, and again, I think it was like five for 24. Um, so the first one that I got is this one, it's Tis the Season. And it was marked as one of their holiday favorites. If you look, um, that's like a little tag, I guess that means that, you know, it's well-loved, popular. So I'll just quickly run through the rest of the um, fragrances that I got. So we have Holiday, which is kind of cinnamony and really nice. And Fresh Balsam, which smells exactly like a Christmas tree. And I know the Balsam Candle is one of their most popular, so I couldn't miss out on this one. And something sweet, we got Cinnamon Caramel Swirl. And then the last one I picked up is called Under the Christmas Tree, which smells similar to the um, Fresh Balsam one. And if you're someone who has like a fake Christmas tree at home, I know in my family we do fake trees. We don't really, you know, try to go through all the hassle of getting a new Christmas tree every year. But if you have one of these plugged up near your Christmas tree, it smells exactly like a real one. So that's a nice hack. Um, or you could also buy like the room sprays from Bath and Body Works, the ones that smell like a Christmas tree and you could kind of spray your tree. I think my mom did that too. And I just think that's a really nice touch, um, especially if you have a fake tree and it makes it feel a bit more real. And I also had a coupon. Um, so I picked up one of these plugs for free. I think it was like, um, it, it came in the mail, but I think you could get a free wall plug up to $10. So this is the one I got. So that's all for the wall plugs. Let's move on to the body care. So the first item that I got was the In The Stars Body Wash. I use this lotion now and I love it. It just smells really clean and really bubbly. Um, and it has shea and vitamin E in the shower gel. And I love the scent so much that I actually picked up two of them. Um, but I only have one with me right now. The other one is in my shower because I used it today, but I love this scent. In the Stars is one of my favorite scents from Bath and Body Works. And as proof of that, um, I got two more of the lotions because mine is almost out and these just smell so good. It makes you feel like you have a perfume on when it's really just a lotion and it is just, it's everything. 
one of my favorite scents, if not my favorite scent from Bath and Body Works. So I just wanna also note that the aromatherapy candles were on sale for 1025 for candle day, but the aromatherapy body care was not part of the buy three, get three free sale. And if you don't already know, I'm obsessed with the body creams from Bath and Body Works. They're like a really thick, nice lotion. I like thick lotions. So if you're into thick lotions, I recommend their body creams. I think they're better than their regular lotions. So another body cream that I got was this one, the Frosted Coconut Snowball, and it smells exactly how it says it smells. It smells like coconut, it smells a little frosty, and it's just everything for the winter. I think this smells so good. And then the last of the body care, I picked up the OG Japanese Cherry Blossom Body Cream. I actually haven't used this scent since I was in high school, but I couldn't figure out which body creams to get. And I didn't wanna to have to go through the entire store smelling everything. And I know I like this one, so I went with it. And this is one of their OG most popular scents and it lives up to the hype and I just think it smells so good. Oh, I forgot to mention, I also had a, another coupon and I got the Frosted Coconut Snowball in the travel size um, because this was free. And I just think this is great for travel. Again, I travel a lot and you can never have too many travel size lotions. Now on to the candles, what we've all been waiting for. Candle Day was extremely successful this year and I think it's really smart if you honestly wait until candle day and then purchase all your candles for the whole year because they have all of their candles out. It's not just the holiday ones. And that way you can get all your candles for $10 because that's so much better than, you know, popping into the store every so often and paying full price. Work smarter, not harder. So the first candle that I picked up is actually one of the aromatherapy candles. And this is in the Relax scent with black chamomile. It is just so soothing. It smells so clean. This is like the ideal scent for I think a shower gel or a bubble bath. And I actually used to have this lotion. Um, so I thought, you know, I've tried the lotion. I love it. Why not try the candle? Cause I've never had any candle form before. And I'm just obsessed with the scent. And you can see I already burned it. I couldn't wait for this video. I burned it last night. So it was worth it. I love it. And this candle is amazing. The next candle that I picked up is Cookies with Santa. I recently bought the Merry Cookie Christmas candle. And I just thought it was so nice. And I love candles that smell like dessert because I love dessert. So I wanted to branch out. I've already tried Merry Cookie, so why not try Cookies with Santa? And this one is a bit, it's a bit nuttier than the Merry Cookie candle, but I think this is the perfect Christmas candle. It just smells warm and it just smells like dessert. And what's better than smelling cookies when you don't actually have cookies. Actually, maybe what's worse, because now that I have this candle, it's going to make me want cookies. I'm not mad about that. And I love this candle. I love their three wick candles. And more than that, I love that they were all on sale. So next I picked up this candle and it's called Leaves. I love the top. That's a nice detail. This smells really nice. It smells like fall, but it's also kind of fruity, which is interesting. Um, I don't know that it smells like leaves at all, but to me, this smells like fall. It smells like leaves, it smells like apple pie, and it's a really nice fall candle. And I love how it makes my room smell. I've also already burned this one. Um, but yeah, I love this candle. Oh, this is called the Give Comfort scent from Bath & Body Works. It smells clean but also a little fruity, which I think is interesting. Um, and I know this one maybe isn't everyone's cup of tea because it kind of smells like peaches. So if you're not into peaches, then yeah, don't get this. I just think this candle's really nice and it's different from the other ones. I didn't just want to go with holiday scents. And although this might be considered a holiday scent, to me, this is more of a summer scent. It smells fruity. Um, 
but I just something about it I haven't burned it yet so I can't speak to you know the throw or whether it smells how it smells in here when you burn it but I just think that this is a great candle if you're into fruity scents okay so we have two candles left this one is the fresh balsam and when I was preparing for candle day I actually went online the night before and looked up you know their most popular scents and this one was listed as the most popular which wow I mean it lives up to the hype. It smells exactly like pine, like a Christmas tree. Again, if you're trying to get that real Christmas tree scent, whether you have a real Christmas tree or you don't, just burn this candle and you'll get what you're looking for. It just smells fresh. It just smells wintry and nice. And I think it's perfect for Christmas. Now on to the last candle in my personal favorite. This is the hot buttered rum candle and I just can't get over this packaging. I think this is so cute. I love the plaid. It matches my new pajama set. Um, but this one just smells oh, like mapley and sweet and salty. I'm trying to think of what food it reminds me of. I don't know. It's giving vanilla. It's giving, you know, the rum, but kind of like caramel. This smells like salted caramel, and I love salted caramel. So if you're into, again, those sweet dessert-like scents, then this one is perfect for you. I love this candle. I get it every year, and I'm obsessed. This is my favorite candle in the entire haul. So again, hot buttered rum, you need it. So that's all for this part one of my Black Friday haul. We have a lot coming in the next video. Um, just a little sneak peek. I placed an order with BBX brand for their December drop. I got a couple items from Source Unknown and a couple other items. So stay tuned because I'm still waiting on some of those items to come in. Um, but that video will be coming very soon. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video.